Hi YouTube, this is Ryan coming at you from my backyard. Um, just wanted to do something outside in nature. It's a beautiful day. It's got a little breeze going on, but as you can see, it's pretty sunny and nice. Um, so let's start off with numbers. Why not? So I just weighed a few minutes ago. Well, let me start. The start of my journey, I was exactly 326 on November 18, 2013. That was the first uh, pre-op appointment with my surgeon. My surgery day, I was 294 on that day. That was February 24th, 2014. So I'd lost some weight in that time. And then last week I was 237.6. This week I was 234, or I am, 234.4. So that's 3.2 for the week and 91.6 overall, 59.6 since my surgery. So those are the numbers. Still rocking and rolling going down. Went to the gym. Some of you might have saw on my Facebook. My Facebook is Ryan's Journey, two words. Um, <clears throat> I was actually at the gym at like 5.30 this morning, right when they opened. Uh, so that was pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, it was good. Got a really good workout in today. Feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few things today. Um, this is my, by the way, this is my 12-week um, post-op from vertical sleep gastrectomy. So, um, so second thing, tips and tricks. So... Um, one thing is I don't, I would tell people, these are some tips I have for people that are, are going to be doing the surgery or have had it or whatever. Don't weigh too often. You know, honestly, I, I, at the beginning I was kind of weighing every day and a couple times a day and for the first week or so or a few weeks. <clears throat> but since then I probably weigh, um, actually I only weigh once a week and that's on Tuesdays, which is the day that I account for my, for my tracking and for my, um, my video is acting a little choppy. I hope that's not going to come through in the real video. Um, that we'll see. So, um, yeah, so I only weigh on Tuesdays once a week. And I track that. I keep that in a log. Um, if you weigh too often, it plays mental games. You know, if you weigh in the morning, you're going to be different at night. If you eat, you weigh a couple hours after. I mean, don't play that game. It's not worth it mentally. Just weigh once a week or maybe twice a week if you need, if you have to. Um, <clears throat> early on, I would say drink lots of water and walk a lot. That would be the two biggest things. I know they say get your protein, get your vitamins. You got to do that. You got to try to get your protein, your vitamins. But worse, all else fails. Walk, get your water in. Two big things I would say there. You know, don't forget your protein, your vitamins. Uh, as far as eating goes, and this I think this continues till now for me. Eat slow as possible. Chew as much as possible, um, and and don't drink when you eat. Wait 30 minutes before you eat to drink, and then 30 minutes after until you drink again. So um, those are some little tips and tricks that I wanted to talk about today. Um, I have a 100-pound goal. So I mentioned I've lost almost 92 pounds so far. I think it was. Um, I want to lose 100 pounds by Father's Day. And what I want to do for my goal, I know some people are saying, like, let's do tattoos and stuff. I don't have any one tattoo on my whole body, which is kind of funny if you think about it because... You know, there was a time when I was younger, people got tattoos. Oh, you got a tattoo. That was a big deal. You're you're going against the grain. You're doing something different. You're putting art on your body, which I think all those things are cool. I just never really had anything that I wanted to put. And then I get to a point as I've gotten older where I think it's kind of different to not have a tattoo in a way. I mean, not having a tattoo is outside the norm, especially in the place where I live here on the coast. Everybody, I can, we can walk down the street and I guarantee you 90% of the people will have some kind of tattoo. So I'm not going to do a tattoo, more than likely. I'm not ruling it out. But what I do want to do, <clears throat> they're having a concert over here at the at one of the resorts here at the beach, and uh, it's a it's a reggae concert, and it's it's on Father's Day on, on a Sunday, and I'm happy to be a day that me and the wife are off. So hopefully, uh, if I lose 100 pounds, I'm going to go to that concert with a couple other friends, and have a babysitter while we go. So it's during the day. So that that's kind of my my goal. This Father's Day, 100 pounds. So um, I'm feeling good that I can get there. All right, some last stuff here I want to talk about NSVs. <clears throat> so if you remember, I had to buy um, some new work clothes, suits for work. Mainly one main suit and some other pants. But the pants I got were 42 inches. Now those pants are loose. If I if I stood back, I mean I got I would have you know probably a couple inches. So I think I'm 40. Uh, on, on slacks and slacks usually run I mean more true like if I wear jeans I could probably wear 38 jeans but still 40 slacks so uh, I have to go get some new slacks soon probably almost a new suit jacket again 
So that's pretty cool. I mean, that's NSV, but no, it costs money. Um, all right, another one uh, that I want to put. I know some other people have mentioned it in, recently that have lost a lot of weight. I think Jen R and Y is one that did, but just people that she hasn't seen either through her work, people she works with that doesn't doesn't see all the time, or customers. For me, I get the well, they don't recognize you. Um, you know, if I haven't seen my journey's been about six months right now, and if I haven't seen somebody in five or six months, they might not complete. It's weird. I mean, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, oh hey, how's it going? They're like. Um, something different about you or I've had people literally look me in the eye and not know who I was so what I have to do and this is an SV but it's kind of a trip is I have to actually start talking in my voice and you know whatever my mannerisms and uh, they kind of get who I am so anyway that's just a, a crazy little NSV but uh, so today that's it I got for you guys today I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day I might go see Godzilla in 3d by myself here in a few minutes uh, if I if time permits, because I got a couple, I got a few more hours to have my son. I have to watch my son, um, so it's nice to have a little break to run some errands and stuff. But so I'll let you guys know how that goes. But um, next week is my um, three-month post-op appointment with my surgeon. So I'll definitely have a lot of info. I might hold off on making that video until after I meet with the surgeon, just to kind of hear what she says and you know where I'm at with those kind of things. So that'll be more of the official, even though it's my 12-week. Next week will be really a three-month uh, surgery that some people love to, to say.